What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're on Jurassic World Evolution at the moment. Now, today we're going to bring you guys a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a cheating video, it's a little bit of a cheeky video. So essentially today what we'll be doing with you guys is, if you ever unlock New Island, so we're currently on our third island, you can see there's five islands in total, we're currently on our third one. Sorry, six islands in total. Now, when you unlock a new island, you get the ability to obviously go and discover new fossils. However, to unlock this ability to search for the new fossils, you actually need to build an expedition center. Now, you can see here we've got the expedition center up. Now, a little sneaky thing is, if you actually build this on a brand new island straight away, like if this is the first thing that you actually build, which, you know, go ahead straight away, like why not? I don't see why you shouldn't, because essentially this allows you to go find new fossils. Now, if you don't have it built and you just go about doing so, now you can see that we're going to build the expedition center right there and our battery is going to die. So pretty much when you go out and looking for fossils, you can see we can't currently find any fossils on this section because we don't have any, we don't have any expedition centers. You can see there to connect, you see we need the facility. So what you can actually do is you can actually just run an expedition center on this island. When you first start, like when you first start on the island, you've got a certain amount of money build your expedition center first because essentially what you can do is you can travel back to one of your previous islands and you can actually just send expeditions out from that island. So we'll show you here. So you can see we're going to have, okay, we're just going to connect this up first. All right, we're going to bring this down here. There we go. All right. So you can see that's built, that's powered. Yep, that's powered. Okay. There we go. Now you can see that's a little thingy. So if we come into our expedition center now, our expedition map, you can see we've got a whole heap of new specimens and whatnot that weren't there before. Well, you're going to have to take our word that they weren't there before because I haven't shown you. So you can see there's a ton of new species and whatnot that we can actually find. Now, if you were to travel back to the other islands, right? So if we go island navigation and we just go back to our first island, for example, let's travel here. Now what you can actually do is you can actually send expeditions out from this island, from your first or second island, any other island that you've already unlocked, and you can use that, that area's money and whatnot to send the expeditions out to get the new fossils, and you can research the new fossils on your older island. That way when you go back to your new island, you can scrap your expedition center, restart the whole map again if you've only built your expedition center, and you'll still have all of the new fossils unlocked. The same goes for your research center. If you build that straight away, just connected to a power source, you can easily upgrade your bait, well not your base, but you can easily upgrade your parks and themes to reflect that greater level, which is a great way to go about getting extra fossils, go about getting extra everything. So, okay, don't worry about what's going on here. So if we go to our expedition map, you can see that we'll have access to all the new dinosaurs fossils that we actually got from expanding into this new one. So you can see we've got tons of Brachiodiplodocus, Ceratosaurus, Brachiosaurus, we've got tons. So we're going to send these expeditions out and we are going to bring a whole heap of fossils back. Okay, now if we come into here, you can see that we're actually able to transport out and search these new spots for more fossils. However, do take note, if you go back to that island where you actually did see them, you do have to... Um, you do have to keep that research center open in order to extract the fossils and still search for them. But you can see here, we can't actually uh, we can't actually excavate these fossils yet because we still need the extra research center, the fossil center, sorry. So what you can actually do is you can then travel back to that island once again. Just build the fossil center. This is what I literally do every time I start a new island. I build a new uh, expedition center and a new fossil center and then I come back to my older islands and I just use all that money from those older islands get the fossils get the research done excavate the fossils and then I go from there because that saves you a lot of time and you can then put these new dinosaurs straight into the new exhibits so you don't have to keep funneling in the old dinosaurs from the old maps so this is just a little way to go about doing so and just a little sneaky sneaky way of getting extra fossils, you know, just saving your money and just being able to utilize the best of what you have to your ability. So, like I said, it's a great way to get extra fossils, get extra dinos, save some money for your new island, because trust me, every cent counts on your new island, especially on this this island. You start off in the negative 900,000. So, yeah. So hopefully you guys found these useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.